here at the park. We're still in Tucson. And I'm just having the time of my life. I love it here. So last night, or two nights ago, we've been sleeping at one of the Planet Fitnesses, out just a little bit outside of the main city. And I think I mentioned previously in a video that there have been a lot of faux pas going on. There's bigger rigs like a Class C's, um, not a Class A, but a Class C and a Class B that have been just parking this way instead of parking where the part you know the lines are they've just been taking up space uh, some of them have been leaving a lot of trash around and some of the people not just class C's or B's but there's an area where you can take your dog and I know a lot of you nomads travel with your pets well not picking up your dog poop well, two nights ago, the police came through, let everybody know that there's no more parking there, no more. Uh, Planet Fitness has had it. They're going to change their hours. They have stated that they're going to close at 11 and I believe open up at 4. But they said that they're having a hard time finding help. I... I'm, I'm suspecting, I don't know, I'm suspecting that what's going on is they're trying to discourage people from parking there. And the police made it known that they're going to clean it out. Um, come, it starts tonight, they're going to clean everything out. I've been, I've been uh, concerned about this for a long time. When people aren't following just common sense rules, they're going to make it hard on all of us. So, there you go. Now, I'm going to go and give my opinion also to Planet Fitness. Um, do you know where your bread and butter is coming from, Planet Fitness? I'm going to guess that about a third of your members are nomads. Nomads across the country belong to Planet Fitness. They can get their showers. And if they're in that town, they, there's a nice safe place that they can stay and park there and get some exercise. Well, you know what, Planet Fitness? I know how to get my exercise because I had to deal with you closing during COVID. So a lot of us already got our exercise habits and new ways to do it. And we got it down. Oh, yeah, I do. You know, I just got done exercising here at the park. I got my weights out. This is what this blue blanket is. I put it over and I lay here and I do my yoga, my stretching. Yeah. Now, as far as showers, y'all know, I can wash my hair in my minivan quite well. I've got it down to an art and I wash up every night. And I really don't take that many showers at Planet Fitness. I really don't anymore because I read that too many showers destroys all the good bacteria the little bugs that um, reside on our bodies our bodies are like little condominiums for bacteria and bugs inside of our body inside of our digestive system and on our skin and some of those little bugs keep us from getting skin cancer I don't want to kill my bugs <laughs> I like my little bacteria on my body so showering all the time is what's um, some of the, the higher cases of they're suspecting that skin cancer is because our society is taking too many hot showers. Okay, that's that. But I don't need to take a shower, so I don't take that many showers anymore. So Planet Fitness, guess what? I'm canceling my membership. I liked, when I come to Tucson, I like to park at that one Planet Fitness. I don't make waves. I don't bother anybody. I don't throw trash around. I don't let my dog poop all over the place. And I'm very polite and kind to your area. So, but if I can't park there, I don't need you anymore. I'm so sorry that we have to break up. We have to divorce. <laughs> I'm divorcing from Planet Fitness. And if you find that your Planet Fitness is not letting you park there, and use that as a safe spot and if you are a neat and clean and considerate nomad I say you break up too they, they need to know where their bread is buttered which side it is yes now courtside I've mentioned 
is a wonderful place. It's a wonderful city. And somebody was smart enough to say, those nomads, they're great people. Not only are they great, but they got money. And Quartzsite can literally, those businesses can deal with their whole yearly income in like three to four months time because we spend our money there. Let's make sure that Planet Fitness discovers that also. In Tucson, there's a great gym called Choose. It's C-H-U-Z-E. I belonged to that before I joined Planet Fitness and became a member and became a nomad. And they actually have a little pool in there that you can use. So if you can't park there and it's not going to be open 24-7, which was the original agreement when I signed up, then I don't want you anymore. By Planet Fitness. So that's my little commentary, my little opinion page for the day. And another thing, and I'm going on the nomad side, like I mentioned, please be considerate. If you're not, you're making it hard on the rest of it. Enough said. A little large. This looks sort of mistletoe y. There we go. We're looking for something for Paul's van. What is this? Can you lift that up for me? What is this? It looks interesting. Oh my gosh. It's, it's oh, it's the one. whole thing? <laughs> well, what is it? Twenty bucks. For something we don't know what it is. It's interesting looking. Hey okay, y'all, I got my bin here. This is the bin that when I'm driving, it's right there. It's sitting on top of another bin. And then I have another bin down below it. So it's like a two-tier table. This top is like a table for me. Now what I do is I use this little towel here to cover up what's on top. Because all day long, I really don't want to look at all this. But I do want this handy while I'm driving so I can grab it. And then when I'm done, when I'm driving, what I do is, when I'm driving, I just kind of throw it over so I can grab it easy. But when I'm done driving, I don't want to look at everything and I fold it over. So let's see what I carry. Well, I've got my tactical pen. And this is for, boom, you know, well, this is for, you know, to, hurt somebody if they're going to attack you but it's also to break a window if I get stuck inside of my minivan and it actually is a pen let's see it's a pen yes it is there we go and there's a little flashlight there we go yeah. so I keep that handy right here I keep a little um, comb, little ace comb. I keep this is police quality pepper spray. I keep some lipstick, little lip gloss, and the lip gloss. I keep some Altoids. Keep a couple cards here when I need to give somebody a card. Minivan Lee. There we go. keys and on my keys have a nice flashlight true night or through night just some regular and ointment for my lips and I keep my knife here yeah now over here I keep a lot of you said oh we want to see your sunglasses well I keep it in a box it's a very sturdy box and I keep my sunglasses in here. I just keep this on top of it. It just seems to help keep. Well, I want to keep the box nice. I got this box at the container store. That's a nice store. And then I just put this over here. So keeps it neat. Keeps it neat. Now, let me take this off. I like to keep things handy here. Let's go through. You like to see what's in my bins. This one, I bought new hats and I've kind of put them in here, but I haven't really cleaned this out, making it 
more organized. Remember my newsboy hat? I bought a newsboy hat. I did tighten it up. And let's see. Yeah. I just put a little dart in there to tighten it up. There we go. My newsboy. I'm a newsboy. There we go. And let's see. I got my boonie hat. I need to tighten this up big time. I haven't worked on this yet. And then I did tighten this a little bit. I put a little dart in there. And this type of hat is it's just a combat cap. It says combat. It was in the arm it was in the military section. I do like this hat. I think I'll wear this. So I'll wear this. <laughs> I like this hat. So I've got these two hats. I've got my old standby, my black hat that I've worn for almost two years now. I've worn this hat. What else do I keep in here? What I keep in here are things that I can get quickly, sort of. Yeah. Um, so I can reach in and get it because when and I want it to be accessible from easy to get at from outside because once I go outside it's like oops I forgot I need a hat then I can just open up the passenger door side door and maybe reach in and grab a hat so these are things this is another thing I might need outside when I'm out walking yeah my um, headphones so I can listen to music or an audio book while I'm walking or listen to, um, uh, yeah, a YouTube, you know, Joe Dispenza or something like that. And let's see. So these are things. Now this, I folded these up nicely. These are my chill pads. I haven't needed them for a while. I think I can kind of put these away until I can probably put these away until spring again because I don't think it's going to get so horribly hot outside that I would I've been using these to cover my jackeries I wet them down wring them out really well kind of place it over my two jackeries because heat destroys a lithium-ion battery so this kind of like an, it makes like a natural evaporative cooler for them so got these I like to have those handy now you remember my cool power my lights we use these even outside at Snyder Hill we went and put it around one of the trees and so that's when I'm gonna keep these handy because pretty soon Pretty soon, everybody, we're going to Quartzsite. Some of you are already there. Joe's there. Max is there. Uh, Jack is working, so Jack will be coming. And a lot of you guys are going to be there. We'll probably, Paul and I will probably pull into Quartzsite uh, the first week of January, which is really only like four weeks. In four weeks, uh, we'll be there. We want to spend Christmas and New Year's here because I've got family here and everything is just so uh, accessible and we need to get prepared for our trip to a court site and around that area the BLM around that area Ehrenberg all those places uh, we'll be staying off and on and so we're gonna get things ready It'll give us time to get ready just kind of rest up from it and uh, yeah I'm excited. Are you excited? Be there. Be square, everybody. Now, these are scarves. And the reason I like to reach in is because uh, Abby and I share these scarves. Uh, after she wears one for a while, um, I wash it and then I give her a new one. I think I'll leave this out. I think we'll go purple for her. Lavender. So I like to reach in and grab these, these scarves for her. Oh, what else do we have here? Well, alrighty. Here's my hippie purse. I do like to carry this. Um, usually I do my fanny pack. It's a tactical fanny pack. Looks kind of military, a little tough. 
and but this is kind of cool too my hippie purse it's pretty cool I like it it's got a little little velcro right there put things in it little zipper what's in here uh oh I keep my keep my cough drops in there but I like this if I'm walking around I just want something quick and easy I don't always want to I just like to switch it up I think that's basically it but I bought this on my way back from Ohio to Reno and it was in Little America Little America it's a huge place it's like a it's a truck stop but it's so much more than a truck stop that there. Now, more hats. Uh oh. These are my shemogs. Here's my new shemog. Here's, okay, here's my cap. Yeah. You know, I haven't worn this in a while. Let's see. Let's see what this is like. This is a little bit more the same like this. A little different. This is nice when you wear a ponytail and you can put the ponytail through that, yeah. Okay, we'll wear this one. And then of course this one, this is sort of a fiesta hat. I know you've all seen this hat many times. It kind of fit up, yeah. But I want to keep this out. Some of the other hats that I had, I put away. I wasn't going to wear them. I bought all these new hats, you know. You can only wear so many hats, right? But I try to keep them nice. You know, I like to keep things in uh, baggies. Keep them nice. I'll tell you, in courtside, I'm going to be wearing my shemogs. Oh, yeah. Because when that sand comes through... Wow. It can sandblast your face, your hair. I'm going to fold this up better. And I got these two shemogs that I like the best. I got them at uh, Miller's Army Surplus Store on 6th Avenue in Tucson. If you're in Arizona, it's worth the trip to go and find some stuff if you're a nomad. Okay, what do we got in here? Now, I keep my black Gorilla Tape. Sometimes I need this on the outside or I need to tape up something and I want to be able to find it. I just want to reach my hand in here and get this tape. I keep it in a bag so it doesn't stick to anything. There we go. What else? Well, these are those little um, sacks that they sent me. Remember those... Um, they're called period panties, and I did a review on them. Well, I'm using these. I like these little bags. What I'm using these bags for is, I to keep it handy, it's lens cleaning tissue paper. It's a, what it is, is this is a professional um, lens cleaner for my um, astronomy binoculars. And I thought, this is kind of a nice thing to put um, those in. You know, when you're nomad, you have to, like, uh, conserve space. And I don't want everything shoved in. I don't like to damage things. And then I have another one. Maybe I'll find something to put in here. Now, these have been laying here. I like to keep a pair of these handy. These are those work gloves. Now, these I got from working at Amazon. But you can buy these in the stores now. I mean... It's, this one's is high flex yeah and when I'm picking up something or if you're out you're gonna need these if you're going to quartzite you're gonna be picking up a rock maybe you want to make a fire pit there could be a scorpion there could be a bug under there and you don't 
want to be getting bit in your hands and you don't want to hurt your hands either so get yourself some nice work gloves good mat tough material okay this is just uh, the cover for my um, phone my new phone this is a power bank now these through night through night these are boxes from the products through night has sent me but I'm telling you what these boxes <laughs> these are nice boxes so I like to keep these I can put some things in here haven't decided what yet now this box is holding all the the connectors and everything and all the little pieces that go with every single I just put them all in here go with all my um, flashlight stuff this is an extra little tripod I don't know why I keep it well I just not it's light I keep it and then this one too I don't know this one I might actually get rid of I don't think I need that and it is kind of heavy I just don't need it here's an extra cord an 8 millimeter MC4 connector for my Jackery for solar I like to have an extra here are some glasses I wasn't overly happy with them but I bought them and they're here because sand was when I was at the beach sand was coming through my glasses and pelting the sides of my eyes um I got some muffs <laughs> ear muffs uh, for winter I got these out let's see okay I've had these for years. <laughs> I still have them. Yeah. Okay. And then this it will be used in quartzite. This is my fanny pack. I call it my tool belt. And I will hook on my knife and my bear spray. And I have an air horn in here because in quartzite, in my opinion, there have been people who let their dogs off leash. And dogs can be, I find dogs, even Abby is the same. I understand it now more because Abby is the same. When we're out boondocking or she's in a new area, she after she gets acclimated to it, which only takes a few hours, all of a sudden she becomes very, very protective of it. Like it's her place. Anybody that walks by um, Paul's rig she'll, she can bark at so I understand the theory but with Abby she's on leash all the time and so I've got my air horn some pepper spray and then in here lip gloss let me see lip gloss I need this <laughs> I need this now this one has run low I'll stick it in it and of course some cough drops if I'm out walking um, and my throat goes dry so this is when I go for a walk now when I go for a walk when I'm in quartzite or out on BLM land I've got everything attached here and I put this on and then I can go for a walk but I want to have those handy I learned my lesson almost I was almost um, mauled uh, last year now th <laughs> this is interesting I keep these they're not the best classes but I keep them let's see one of you asked me in comments why I wear sunglasses sometimes even when I'm in my rig I'm very sensitive to light I think a lot of people are when they have lived in Arizona so long Arizona has sunshine, bright, hot sunshine, 
almost 98% of the year. It's a lot. So I wear sunglasses. Let's do try these on. These are my Janice Joplin. There we go. These are my Janice Joplin glasses. <laughs> Let's see what else in here. We'll put this over here. And then I've got... I just keep them in the box because the box is nice. But I want to know where they are. These are... Oh, these are like my winter driving gloves. When I lived... I got these when I was in Cincinnati. They're lined. Oh my gosh. Cool, huh? I love these uh, these gloves. Comfortable, and they keep my hands warm, but I keep them in the box. So that's what's in here. I thought I would organize it. I'm gonna need this pretty soon. But I like to put things back where I got them. I don't know about these glasses. They do go, they're over glasses, so I could wear, I could actually wear my reading glasses and put these over it if they're small enough. Keep this. I guess this is the only thing that's going to get thrown away. I don't want this anymore. And I'll have to find something to put in these boxes if I'm going to keep them. I don't like to carry things that I don't use. But these boxes just look way too um, good to be keeping little things in. So, Well, this is what I got. And I wanted to share with you and talk to you. Got a few things coming up. New um, little segments. Paul is going to review a security camera. Now, they sent it to us. They wanted to send it to us. I believe this could definitely be used by nomads. If you can get Wi-Fi, it's going to need an SD card. If you can get Wi-Fi, you could be away from your rig and you download an app and you can uh, collect all the information of what's going on around your rig if you're out walking around or if you go into town with somebody else and you left your rig somewhere. Oh yeah. But it's also good. I know uh, a lot of you are living in a house. You don't, you're not all nomads. And, and I just appreciate you all so much. And so when you say, I live vicariously through you, Minnie Man Lee. Well, that's cool. And I'm glad you do. So this might be up your alley too. And so let's go video on to camera that, that is used for security purposes, whether around your rig, if you wanted to do that, or around a sticks and bricks home somewhere in the city. Uh, so we're just going to talk a little bit about this and show you some of its features and what is included in the package. Uh, it does come as a kit from uh, what I'm going to show you here. Uh, first of all, the camera from Reolink. This is a 1080p, which can, I believe, also be set down to a lower resolution of 720p. But the 1080p produces a beautiful picture. I looked at some of the uh, videos that were online and uh, it, it really does produce a great uh, picture and it's also available uh, so that you can connect this to your phone and if you want to speak through the speaker person that you're concerned about that's around your home or around your rig you can actually say something like hey what are you doing there whatever something like that so let's see what's in these two boxes uh, this is actually the solar panel that would charge the unit and keep it going for you overnight it charges up every day both of these come with mounting plates that will allow you to uh, you can attach it to the side of a home, to the side of a rig. It does even come with a belt that would allow you to attach it to a tree or a pole, something like that. So first of all, let's look at the camera itself. Like so many other things, it comes with very detailed, easy to follow instructions. A nice instruction book written in English, thank goodness. If you do want to attach it uh, to your home or your rig. It has a template to show you where the screws would go in. And of course, a sticker 
that you could put on a window or, or near the uh, front door to make sure that the bad guys know that this is under video surveillance. And then in the box, this is the camera itself. It's a very compact unit. Very well built. It is, of course, waterproof, IP65. And then it does have a rubberized uh, cover that would go over to help protect it in bad weather. And inside of this comes some of the connector wire that would go between the solar panel and the camera unit. And here's that uh, rope or, or uh, belt that I was talking about. All the screws that you would need to mount it are included, which is very nice. So essentially, you have everything you need here to get this unit set up. And it, it doesn't appear to me that it would take very long to set this up on your home or your rig. Of course, you have to decide where is the most critical spot that you'd want to keep an eye on it. Uh, even when you're a thousand miles away. Now, if we want to take a look at the solar panel. Not very large, of course. It doesn't have to be to produce the power that is needed to power the camera. And first of all, it has its own instruction booklet, which is very easy to understand, very easy to follow. And then this also, the solar panel, would attach to your home or your rig. And there is a template there to show you where the, the uh, screws would go. And then the panel itself is this little guy, which produces all the power that would be needed. It does come with this cable that goes between this and the camera itself. This is about 10 feet long, 10 or 11, something like that. Comes with all the pieces and parts that you need. That's what would attach to the house. And then there is a hole for this on the back so that you can tilt it any which way that you'd like to get the best sun and of course the mounting hardware is in there also Rio link evidently uh, they've done a really good job on finding out what people need and how to make this as easy as possible for the owner to set it up and be able to monitor their place so I think that uh, for around $200, something like that, check it out on Amazon. It's available there. And for around uh, that kind of a price point, I think it's a great looking system. We didn't actually hook it all up yet. Uh, don't know that we're going to. We're still talking about that. But I think it would do a fantastic job on helping to keep your place secure. I want to thank you all for watching it. And I ask you to subscribe. It really does help me out when you subscribe and give me a thumbs up and make a comment. All these things help support my travels. Yeah, you guys are so good to me. I also have the book, How to Live in a Minivan, The Minivan Leeway, and that's on Amazon. And the links are everywhere. The link to my storefront is in the video description along with all the other links. So it just depends on which one you want to use. If you want to go in the video description and use the links or just go to Amazon Type in Minivan Lee and my book will come up and my storefront will come up. I want to mention the storefront. Y'all are getting ready and buying things for Christmas and sending gifts and buying gifts for yourself. And if you use my link, I get a little small commission and it costs you nothing. Now, you can go through my link and you don't have to buy what the product is. You can all go to another product. As long as you go through the link, it's like going through my door. And once you're there and you put something in your cart and you buy it within 24 hours, I get a little something, something. 
And so that really helps support me. I really appreciate it. I know y'all are going to be buying things for yourselves and for your family and friends. So just want to remind you, if you use my link, I would so appreciate it. And I'm going to see y'all in Courtside pretty soon. Now, we have a really cool podcast coming up Friday. And it's all about holiday shopping, a little bantering going back and forth between Paul and I and talking about holiday shopping, some of our experiences, and some fun facts about holidays and how much people spend on the holidays. Well, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Be cool, everybody. Bye.